Stephen, a tough task on day four and it wasn't to be in the end. What's your reaction to today's play? Yeah, obviously very disappointed. I think we paid the, the prize ultimately for, for having a poor first innings. 213 was, as Essex showed, probably at least two, 200, 250, maybe even more under par. And um, You know, there's probably that period when myself and Nashi were going 115 for two. We felt like we had a, a real grip on the game. And then a couple of strangles down the leg side, which was slightly unfortunate, but... You know, sometimes in this game, when you when you're down the bottom, not much goes for you, and it's not done in this game. But you know, no excuses. Um, we've not played well enough, and Essex have quite rightly come out with the points. A few starts in that second innings, few twenties, thirties for a couple of the guys. What, what's the what's the secret to converting those into a more lengthy stay at the minute? Uh, well, it's, you know, it's a very simple game, cricket. That you have to bat a long time in four-day cricket, and we don't seem to be doing that at the minute. Um, you know, I thought you know mine was a poor execution, left one not for one. We had a run out in there and Samit played a poor shot at the end of the day. Um, so going five down with an attack of you know, Harmer, Siddle, Porter's bowling well and, and Beard's obviously picking up wickets. So, you know, it was an uphill task, but um, it, was a, it was a wicket that we shouldn't have lost this game on, definitely not by that margin, but um, we should have been able to bat for a lot longer on that, on that pitch. What's the dressing room mood like at the minute as, as the game start to tick away a little bit towards the back end of the campaign? Yeah, the mood's fine, you know, we're a great set of lads, we're a tight unit. Um, I think we know that we're going to have to do something pretty special. We, we've probably got to win three or four games, you know, as I just said to, in another interview that the, the scenario has not changed really. Um, before this game we had to probably win three or four uh, and we still have to do that, but we're one game less and, you know, it's going to be tough work, but it's something that I believe that... Um, and the lads up there believe that we can do because if we didn't then it definitely wouldn't happen. What sort of things are you looking to work on in the three or four days before Somerset? Um, yeah, I think we'll have tomorrow um, to probably digest this performance and, and look at Somerset and then we'll come in Friday and then go down to Taunton on Saturday uh, and I suppose it's down to each individual to prepare as best they can to go in and put performance in for, firstly for themselves and, and the pride of the club but hopefully to put us in a position where we can put Somerset under some real pressure which is Obviously, at the minute, going to be a, be a tough ask because they're playing very well at the top of the league and they're on a bit of a roll. So we're going to have to try and stem that uh, pressure, what we're under and what we're feeling at the minute. Uh, and that's up to each individual to see how they're going to do that.